Welcome to the training module on effective communication. In the previous module, you have learned about the introduction of communication skills. Let's start with effective communication. Effective communication is a process of exchanging ideas, thoughts, knowledge and information such that the purpose or intention is fulfilled in the best possible manner. In simple words, it is nothing but the presentation of views by the sender in a way best understood by the receiver. Now let's talk about the five C's of effective communication which are Clarity Cohesiveness Completeness Conciseness Concreteness Improve the efficacy of everyday communication at the workplace by learning the essentials of business communication. Clarity Clarity helps to build trust with your audience. If your thoughts are not clear, your written or verbal communication will not be clear and your audience will not understand the message. Cohesiveness helps your audience understand your message by leading them through your information so that they can see how it logically fits together. Don't lose your audience in a jumble of meandering sentences. Keep your ideas focused on your message. During written communication, a topic sentence is a useful way to state an idea. It acts as a headline for what to expect in a paragraph. The topic sentence is usually the first sentence of the paragraph. The remaining paragraph sentences provide information that supports the topic sentence. Completeness When presenting an idea, Include enough information to prove your thesis, that is, your topic sentence. During written communication, three supporting sentences and a concluding sentence are usually sufficient to complete the paragraph. The concluding sentence of the paragraph should summarize your main idea by reinforcing your topic sentence. Conciseness Make every word count. During written communication, delete redundant words and simplify word expression. Remove any filler words. Here are some examples of redundant words during written and verbal communication. Instead of a distance of 5 kilometers, use 5 kilometers. Instead of mixed together use mixed instead of until such time as use until concreteness be specific in your meaning by using precise words Avoid terms that are vague or abstract. For example, abstract, vehicle, soon, less abstract, car, within the month, concrete, a Ford Mustang, by April 30th. Now let's talk about assertive communication. In this section, you will be able to define different styles of communication. 
explain the importance of assertive communication. Demonstrate the principles of assertive communication for win-win outcome. Styles of Communication Every person has a unique communication style, a way in which they interact and exchange information with others. There are three basic communication styles – passive, aggressive, assertive. It's important to understand each communication style and why individuals use them. For example, the assertive communication style has been found to be most effective because it incorporates the best aspects of all other styles. When we break down these four styles, we will be able to better understand the characteristics of each style, standard phrases and what makes them unique. Individuals who use the passive communication style often act indifferently, yielding to others. Passive communicators usually fail to express their feelings or needs, allowing others to express themselves. Passive communicators often display a lack of eye contact, poor body posture and an inability to say no. Passive communicators also act in a way that states, people never consider my feelings. However, passive communicators are also easy to get along with as they follow others and go with the flow. Examples of phrases that those who use a passive communication style would say or may believe include, it really doesn't matter that much. I just want to keep the peace. Aggressive It's often apparent when someone communicates in an aggressive manner. You will hear it, you will see it, you may even feel it. The aggressive communication style is emphasized by speaking in a loud or demanding voice, maintaining intense eye contact and dominating or controlling others by blaming, intimidating, criticizing, threatening or attacking them, among other traits. Aggressive communicators often issue commands, ask questions rudely and fail to listen to others. But they can also be considered leaders and command respect from those around them. Example of phrases that an aggressive communicator would often use. I am right, you are wrong. I will get my way no matter what. It's all your fault. Assertive Thought to be the most effective form of communication. The assertive communication style features an open communication link while not being overbearing. Assertive communicators can express their own needs, desires, ideas and feelings while also considering the needs of others. Assertive communicators aim for both sides to win in a situation, balancing one's rights with the rights of others. Assertive communicators can express their own needs, desires, ideas and feelings while also considering the needs of others. One of the keys to assertive communication is using I statements such as I feel frustrated when you are late for a meeting or I don't like having to explain this over and over. It indicates ownership of feelings and behavior without blaming the other person. Examples of phrases an assertive communicator would use include 
we are equally entitled to express ourselves respectfully to one another i realize i have choices in my life and i consider my options i respect the rights of others what is assertive communication assertive communication is an honest direct expression of thoughts or idea assertive communication is not being defensive impulsive judgmental emotional antagonistic demanding let us now learn about the components of assertiveness there are two components of assertiveness enthusiasm indicates the level of understanding sought by an individual in communication understanding it includes both verbal and non-verbal elements importance of assertive communication leaders who avoid communicating assertively don't last new leaders will never succeed if they can't be assertive when they need to you might get promoted to a leadership position and cling on to that position for a little while but eventually others will discover you are not capable of handling difficult conversations challenging decisions or complex situations avoiding situations in which you need to be assertive is not a solution you need to confront them with confidence like leaders do being assertive makes you sound more confident many emerging leaders struggle with communicating their ideas opinions and thoughts in a confident manner you are worried about saying the wrong thing in front of others who are more senior and experienced this anxiety causes you to get your thoughts muddled and your message to lack confidence but when you are competent in assertive communication you will know the words and sentence structures to use so your confidence immediately shines through assertive leaders appear more honest and transparent when you know how to communicate assertively it means that you can openly and honestly share your thoughts opinion and wishes you don't hold back or hide your thoughts from others because you are fearful of saying the wrong thing or being challenged this openness in your communication makes you come across as more honest and transparent assertiveness helps you manage conflict in teams just like with delegating new leaders aren't used to managing conflict in teams neutralizing conflict and resolving it takes a unique form of communication that leaders must be able to tap into when required passive communicators would avoid this conflict aggressive communicators would latch on to it but let it grow into something unnecessary assertive communicators however know how to get everyone heard understood and move towards a solution instead of focusing on the argument at hand skills in assertiveness helps you avoid burnout two areas where many new leaders fail are not being able to say no when they need to and delegating tasks to others in their team not being able to say no inevitably leads to taking on too much then overwhelm and overwork not being able to delegate inevitably leads to you doing tasks that others could do simply because it's easier if i just do it myself both will cause you to burn out that's why all new leaders need to develop skills in assertiveness so they can prioritize where they spend their time and energy and where they don't assertive communication is a critical skill for all new leaders to develop you will be exposed to situations and conversations that are challenging 
you will be asked to do things that aren't in line with your priorities and goals. Your job and reputation depend on you being able to handle these situations and assert yourself when you need. Now, let's learn seven principles of assertive communication. Principle 1. Aiming for a win-win. Throw your old win-lose approach to conflict out of the window. Assertive communication requires that you approach every disagreement with the ultimate goal of both of you winning. Only when you are both happy and healthy is it possible to be happy and healthy together. Principle 2. Invite emotional sharing. Your partner comes home cranky or withdrawn and you immediately assume their mood is your fault. The assertive way to handle this situation is simple. Ask what's wrong and ask it sincerely. Let your partner tell you his or her thoughts and emotions instead imagining their internal life and making assumptions. Principle 3. Learn to listen. Listen to understand. As the idiom goes, you can hear what someone says, but if you are not truly listening, then it goes on in one ear and out the other. To be an effective listener, you must focus on the present, lower your defenses, remember your goals, win-win, look for points of agreement and repeat what you hear so you can both be certain the other is correctly interpreting what has been said. Principle 4. Practice Empathy Empathy can go much deeper than just seeing the world from others' perspective. Empathy can mean caring as much about others' well-being as you care about your own. The first step is to recognize that others' needs and boundaries are separate from yours and that they experience life differently than you. Principle 5. Communicate how you feel. Being in touch with how others feel by listening carefully with empathy is important. But it doesn't mean you should dismiss your own feelings. Using I statements is a classic communication skill and one you have probably heard before. Although you may not mean to control or criticize others, when you use you in a conversation, you are doing just that. Principle 6. Learn to negotiate. One strategy to solve conflict is to limit your focus to only what you can and will do to resolve the problem. You and other person should reflect on the issue between you. Take responsibility for your respective roles in it and describe the steps you each will take to resolve the problem. Don't point fingers or tell the other person in conflict what to do. It's a strategy that generates mutual respect instead of anger. Principle 7. Say you are sorry. Even if you follow the first six principles of assertive communication, you're going to sometimes say or do something hurtful at one time or another. You have been on the receiving end of emotional pain and at the same time, you probably wanted an apology. You wanted to know that the offending person acknowledges your pain and his or her role in causing it. When you have hurt someone, remember this need you once had for an apology and apologize. Mindful attitudes about yourself and your relationship with others are the keys to assertive communication. Dealing with conflict is difficult, but when everyone is listened to, heard and treated with respect, all parties will be more inclined to communicate openly and honestly and to resolve differences. This won't happen if you aren't listening to your own feelings, especially anger, and if you are not listening to others as well. Today we have learnt about what is effective communication, 
along with the five C's and assertive communication. Let's move ahead and learn about the empathetic listening in the next module.